All right, we're going to switch gears here. We'll get to this question from a viewer in Big Lake. Uh, what would it, uh, I'm sorry, what would make it feasible to get the North Star Rail from Big Lake to St. Cloud? So who would like well, to tackle I'll that? Take that. There we go. Go ahead, Representative. Well, we, we did certainly hear, and, and the, in the transportation bill is money to do a study. Um, we have looked at it in the past, apparently, but there may be some new, you know, people say, well, there's maybe new information. Um, but I know there's certainly um, demand and certainly an interest. And uh, I, I, however, if you look at the marketing studies, you know, how many people actually um, who, who work in St. Cloud live in the Twin Cities, you know, there's, you, you can get that number. And how many people who live in the Twin Cities work in St. Cloud or go to school in St. Cloud, that kind of thing. You can get those numbers. You know, we could be informed by that and say, well, there's just not that much opportunity. But, um, you know, I think there's a lot of, lot of passion for it, and I suspect that we will probably give that a try at some point, even though. And I would say that we should, um, if it doesn't really, if it's not successful in delivering the numbers we hope, because remember, uh, the original North Star was supposed to have 10,000 riders a day. That I can show you the, the brochure that promised that, you know, to legislators. So, um, and I think it's, it's doing 2,000 a day, something like that. So, you know, we, and we're subsidizing it a lot. Um, but maybe we have to look one more time and see how it's going to be. Well, yeah, speaking as a neutral on this, I, you know, whatever you do, you do. But I like to go to Big Lake now, and it wouldn't be that good to go to St. Cloud. Get on the train, go in and watch your twins go home. Get home. It's wonderful. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. all right, next. Well, I will tell you that uh, I rode that North Star train for about 10 months, almost a year, because uh, I used to get on it and sometimes in St. Cloud, many times in Big Lake, and take it down to... Uh, I used to take it down to the Target Field, get on a bus there, and actually get dropped off at Cedar Street because I worked with the National Guard at Cedar Street Armory. Mm -hmm. So that was my route every day. Uh, it was, you know, it was better than driving. I actually got to play cribbage on the bus or on the train, yeah. so it was a good deal. I will say that that bus connection, the North, the, the I can't remember what it's called, but they got a North Star connection mm -hmm. that goes from St. Cloud. They just bought four brand new buses, I think it is, or a couple of buses. They're brand new, and that makes that connection. You go look at that parking lot, it's pretty full. So they are making that connection, that they are using that. I will question, my, what I question is how many more riders you're going to get uh, with the current schedule. I do, do believe that if you're going to expand and get more ridership, you got to run. You got to run it more frequently because I will tell you that it's running in the morning, runs in the evening. I, it's a great deal if you want to catch a flight out of here. You can, you can get on that book train. You can take it down. You can get on the light rail. Go down to the airport. Get out. No parking fees, but you have to land before four o'clock in the afternoon, mm -hmm. or you will miss the last train out, and you'll be getting a hotel room. There's, the, there's a hitch in the process. So they need to run that. If I want to come down to the Ordway or come down and take a show, you are not get, you're, you can get down here, get a hotel to get back. Uh, they, get, they need to run it again at 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. But that runs into, now you're making another run, the cost goes up. I think the study is important uh, to figure out exactly what the financial outlay is going to be, what the frequency of this thing's got to go to make it work. And I'd actually like to see the study go all the way to Little Falls, actually all the way Camp to Camp Ripley, Ripley. Camp Ripley, because I think Camp Ripley uh -huh. plays a, could play a, a mix into this deal. Mm -hmm. Representative Hanson? Well, I think it's, it's going to happen uh, mainly because uh, Representative Dan Wolkamott is a force of nature uh, in the legislature and is just one of the most positive people and has been advocating this. You know, we, those of us who've been here for a while, we've heard the debates before. We remember some very long debates on this, but uh, bringing in uh, Representative Wolgamott, he is always uh, uh, so positive, uh, you know, mm -hmm. pushing the idea and pushing the agenda that I, I think when you have that local representative really uh, taking a lead on that, that helps make things happen. Yeah. Yes, and I think it's going to happen as well. Uh, it's Senator Ralph, I think, that is. Yes. Uh, he's, uh, he has a bill to do that as well, to and do the study. Um, 
And you know, each of these problems are ones that you know can be worked on, and as it gets, as the demand comes, uh, they're going to add add uh, um, the schedule, you know, scheduled uh, runs. And you know, one of the negatives of something like this is that you still have to have a car to get to either to St. Cloud to ride the bus to Big Lake or uh, have a car to go to Big Lake. And there's a lot of people now that are not inclined to own either that many cars or any car at all. Mm -hmm. And so this, uh, this is, the demand is going to be there. It's going to happen. Uh, it is the highest subsidized line in the state, so that's a negative. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, yes. that's really probably the only way to get that subsidy down is to, is to attract more people, more riders.